Good afternoon, Pipe friends. This is Grand Park Cavendish coming at you once again from Huntington, New York. This afternoon in the kitchen. Uh, can't be outside today. It's uh, raining like the Dickens out there. Uh, <laughs> thunder is coming and uh, we might even get a little uh, rainbow here because the sun is breaking through all of a sudden. Right as it's raining. So who knows? Might have a rainbow. If we do, I'll point the camera over there and you can get a nice uh, shot. In any event, I uh, want to report today that I'm smoking something very unique. Uh, first off, Missouri Meerschaum Pride. And I chose this pipe intentionally because I'm smoking an aromatic that is a famed one and uh, one that has a reputation of ghosting your pipe severely, uh, which is why I chose this uh, $3.99 cob. But I have to say, I may make this tobacco one of my regulars uh, and put it, put it in a briar next time and devote it to that. This is an extremely relaxing smoke. I think all pipe smoking tends to be relaxing anyway, which is why most of us do it. But there's something about this particular blend that is very calming, uh, which leads me to think this might be a perfect end of the day smoke. Maybe when you come home from work in the afternoon, sit down on the front porch, light up a bowl, or maybe later on in the evening. Might help you sleep. <laughs> you just want to sit back and Contemplate the uh, universe. <laughs> so what is it? This is one of the Lakeland tobaccos that I've come to uh, learn some about. I've done some reading on these tobaccos uh, because this is one of those tobaccos that uh, gets uh, uh, reviews that are either in the fours or fives or the zero or the one. So there's no uh, in between on this one. This is not a uh, moderate middle of the road tobacco. <laughs> they either hate it or they love it. But right now I'm loving it. So what is it? It is Gaweth and Hogarth's Ennerdale Flake. So this is uh, an aromatic, as I said, with that famed Lakeland flavoring, which they describe as sweet almond, vanilla, and various fruit flavorings. Uh, it's primarily, I think it's only a Virginia tobacco of various kinds of Virginia. So I think Virginia smokers will like it. It, it, it has that sweetness of the Virginia. Uh, when you open the tin, you, you definitely get that raisiny, that figgy, dried fruit, Virginia aroma. Of also, you, as well, you get that topping, that, that, that uh, floral type of topping that everyone seems to talk about. Rose or, or lavender or... I don't know if geranium is <laughs> a flavor or not, but uh, somehow I, I get that sensation. Um, 
I can attest to the fact that the tin note is very nice, uh, as well as the room note. I uh, had, had started this video, then got a phone call, so I had to go into the other room, answer the phone, um, talked for about uh, four or five minutes, came back into the kitchen, and I could, because I can never tell uh, the aroma when I'm smoking the pipe, but coming back into the kitchen, it had a very pleasant aroma in here. So I think uh, the non-pipe smokers would like this too. But I think the main thing to take away from this tobacco is if you can set aside all of the negative reviews, you might say, of this being a soapy, perfumey, old lady perfume smelling type tobacco, uh, you might really enjoy it. Uh, it it's definitely different. And as I say, it has this relaxing, calming quality that is quite unique, I say. Uh, I can almost feel myself uh, just uh, slowing down and, uh, you know, lay, kicking back. I could just lay back in here now and uh, read a nice book. So that's my interpretation of the Ennerdale Flake. And uh, the start of my journey with the Lakeland tobaccos. I also ordered a second one. And uh, that is Bob's Chocolate Flake. Also from the same company, uh, the Gawith Hugarth Company. Uh, and from what I understand, that one um, is a little less in the Lakeland Essence area. Uh, but uh, has the addition of Latakia and Burley. To kind of cool it and uh, add that smoky character. Uh, this being uh, primarily Virginia though, doesn't burn hot. Um, I'm not getting any sensation of tongue bite that I might uh, smoke in aggressively on a Virginia. Um, and so far it's burning very well. A, a very light, fluffy gray ash on the top here. Um, so the burning characteristics are quite nice. So, something new for everybody to try. You can see that ash flew out the end of the pipe. So fluffy and light. So I just thought I'd throw that out on a kind of a crummy rainy day. Uh, maybe this is a tobacco for you all to try if you've not tried it before. And uh, be more than happy to entertain any of your thoughts on it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong uh, in any of my interpretations. You get that almond taste coming through. That kind of marzipan-like flavor. Sweet almond marzipan type of thing. And I think it's just the smoke around your head. That lavender type of aroma that tends to be so calming. I know lavender is used a lot in aromatherapy and, uh, and these type of essences. So it has that, I guess, uh, going going on there too. Mm. So before I get too uh, <laughs> long-winded and too sleepy, let me cut it there. And uh, again, Grandpa Cavendish coming at you and uh, enjoy the day. Hope your day, wherever you are, is uh, nice and sunny. Uh, not in New York. <laughs> Take care, everybody.